What is up, people? This is your man, Frank Dutch, right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And today, I want to show y'all something, man. Listen, as some of y'all may know, I recently got into PC gaming and GTA modding, and we're going to be doing some of that on the channel. When I was using OBS on the computer, I noticed that I was having a lot of issues trying to stream and record and do the gaming, you know, or make the content at the same time. So I decided to hook this laptop up right here as a means to, you know, stream and all of that. But the problem I was having was the Streamlabs OBS profile that I had on this computer, it didn't want to come up here and on the stream deck and all of that and it didn't recognize it. So real quick, I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. So look, without further ado, let's get into it. So basically what you do is you simply go to settings and you go to, where is it? Scene collections, right? Now you want to export overlay file and when you export overlay file this is going to pop up right here i already did it because you know i told you i wanted to transfer this stuff over so this is my overlay file right here you name it whatever you want click save and i got mine saved in my creative cloud now um that's for your scenes now say like if you want to also take your stream deck profile over there what you do is you open up stream deck you want to go over to settings you want to go over to profiles, right? Now, you want to highlight the one you want. This one is called the show, the one that I want, right? You can make it your default profile here and all of that. And you can also make it so um, it'll work on specific applications. You can make it open up. You know, the stream deck is crazy. But anyway, um, you want to click this little arrow down here and you want to go to export, right? Now, as y'all can see, I already did it. I already put it in the folder and everything. Mine is called the show. So we're not going to do that again. Hit cancel. And that's when you come back over to the PC that you're actually loading the stuff up on. And you pretty much go through the same process. You go to Scene Collections. And instead of Export this time, you want to go to Import Overlay. Right? You want to go to Import Overlay and find the folder that you got it in and load it up. And everything will pop back up that you saved in there for the most part. It may be a, a couple of things that may be missing, but just simply go over and grab the files, put them where they're supposed to be, and you're good to go. And it's the same with the Stream Deck. All you simply do is just open up the program on the computer that you're loading everything on, and you go to Settings, and click that little arrow, and instead of Import, I mean Export, you hit Import. And then go to where you got your file at. This is mine right here. We don't have to load it up again. And you hit open and it'll pop up right in there and what you'll have to do what you'll end up having to do is basically uh, realign everything to the scenes but once you do that you be all set man yeah I hope this video helped y'all man don't forget to like share comment and subscribe ring that bell so you can stay up on everything that we doing man y'all be cool how y'all be cool don't let nobody tell y'all how to do that y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for this uh commercial these uh, these messages or whatever all right peace <laughs> this creates like a brand new fresh effects change let's click on the button a couple times and let's see how much it changes the sound without even touching these effects <laughs> Bro, that sounds good. It's super fire in my opinion. I've been using it like crazy on my melodies, bro. Like as you just heard, it's got some hella sauce on it. And I think it's one of the best effects creation plugins I've seen in a long, long time. So yeah, man, if you wanna jump on the Sound Doctor plugin at the launch discounted price, then hit the link in the description. There will be a link in the description where you can check out the plugin. So if you liked what you saw, if you liked what you heard, take advantage of that while it lasts. Just a quick warning, this crazy launch deal is only available for a limited time. So click the button below and grab your license before the price goes up.